Today we're going to make one of my favorite spaghetti squash dishes. And I've already cooked this spaghetti squash and flaked out the strands. And if you want to see how I did that easily and quickly, I did it in my Kasori pressure cooker where I cooked the spaghetti squash whole so that it didn't have to be cut first. And then I flaked out all the strands for this recipe. So you can check that out. I'll put a link in my description if you want to see how I did that. In the meantime, I'm going to show you how I put together a really quick, delicious dish. Now this is cooling off. Today I went to today I went to the cheese store in Nazareth, Calandra's, and I have never found a better cheese making business in my life. And so I love to go there when I need some nice fresh cheese. So I, I'm not going to measure this in the measuring cup, but this was about a two pound spaghetti squash that I started with. Then I asked for two pounds of regatta cheese, which I'm going to use about half of this in this recipe. And look how nice and creamy. This is not like anything that you buy in a cup in the store. This is real nice regatta cheese. And I'm just going to flake this into the recipe here. Break it up a little bit. Nice and creamy. All right. The other cheese that I bought today in this Calandra's, Nazareth, Pennsylvania. The other cheese that I bought today is mozzarella. And this is a, a ball that has been drying, but it's uh, made within the last two days. And I'm just going to cut up little tiny cubes. Now you can buy this cheese wet or dry. The wet cheese would have milk running out of the middle here as I cut it. So this is a little bit nicer to use in a recipe that doesn't have to be baked. So I use, I use both kinds. If I was making uh, stuffed shells or lasagna, I would use the wet balls. Or if we were snacking on it right away, we'd be using the wet balls. Now, this is just little tiny cubes that we're going to spread throughout this dish. These are not going to melt or anything. They're just going to be little bite-sized cubes. So we're going to use about a half of the ball. So that's probably about a half a pound in this case. Little bitty pieces. Toss them in. We're going to save a little of this cheese for something else. <laughs> it's hard not to eat this one right away when it comes home. Now, we're going to need some kind of seasoning in this recipe. All right. All right, for this one I'm going to use some garlic powder. And we're going to use some basil leaves. I'm using the dried type right now. Make a good amount of basil in there. Then I'm just going to add some nice olive oil. Spread it around. Because that's always nice on the spaghetti squash. And now we have these extra delicious cheeses. All 
All right, now we're going to toss this and mix it a little bit. Crumble the cheese a little bit more as we mix it through the dish. It's still a little warm and it makes the cheese a little creamy. As we toss it, I'm going to add a little more olive oil down into these strands of spaghetti squash. And a little more basil. Oh boy. That smells good. What are some other things you could add to this that you might like? I'd love to hear people's ideas. Maybe black olives, maybe pine nuts. When you give me ideas, then my recipe grows. <laughs> and then I have another recipe to make again. <laughs> it's great. It's great hearing from everyone. I love to hear about different recipes that your family enjoys or your grandmother taught you or you used to have in your hometown. I love to hear that stuff. All right, here we go. I think that looks pretty delicious right there. And it's ready to serve. How does that look? Delicious, doesn't it? All right, I'm just gonna take a little taste here just to make sure everything's okay. Hmm. Mm, that is so good. Oh, that is so good. I highly recommend this recipe. And do some magic of your own and add your own favorite ingredients when you're mixing this up. Thanks so much for watching.